Caillou Goes Camping, adapted by Roger Harvey. Caillou was playing hide-and-seek with Grandpa. He tiptoed into the living room. Where are you, Grandpa? Caillou looked behind the big chair. Found you, Caillou laughed. Come on, you two. Snack's ready. We're waiting for you both in the backyard. Outside, Mommy had set the table for their snack. There were cookies, cake, fruit, and cold drinks on the table. We're coming, Mommy! This reminds me of the first time I took your daddy camping when he was a little boy just like you, said Grandpa. Grandpa, why don't we go camping, just you and me, Caillou asked. Great idea, and I think I know just the spot to go camping, said Grandpa. Caillou and Grandpa set up the tent in the backyard. Caillou held one of the poles while Grandpa was busy inside the tent. Out of the corner of his eye, Caillou saw a squirrel and let go of the pole to chase the squirrel. The tent wobbled and then collapsed on top of Grandpa. This time, Caillou, I'll hold the front and you go inside the tent. Caillou crawled under the flap. Do you see the pole? Where? Caillou asked. Hmm, Grandpa sighed. I better show you. But as soon as Grandpa went inside, the tent collapsed again. Laughing, the two campers struggled out. Caillou heard the sound of birds chirping. Look, Grandpa, a bird's nest, he said, pointing to a tree. Grandpa picked up Caillou and lifted him to see the birds feeding its young. Grandpa, there are two baby birds in the nest, Caillou said. Grandpa put Caillou back down. We better get our tent up or we'll be spending the night under the stars. Later that evening, Caillou and Grandpa sat roasting marshmallows over a small fire. They look perfect, said Grandpa, popping one into his mouth. Mmm, delicious. When it got dark, they wrapped themselves up in blankets and laid back admiring the starry sky. Grandpa started to yawn. It's getting late. I'll get our sleeping bags ready, he said. Caillou spotted some small lights flickering in the air. Grandpa, what are those lights over there in the bushes? Those aren't lights, Caillou. They're fireflies. Just then, a firefly landed right on Caillou's nose. Caillou was stretched out in his sleeping bag. It was late, but he still couldn't get to sleep. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It was the hoot of an owl. Caillou opened his eyes and looked over at Grandpa, who was asleep beside him. Caillou was getting scared, so he shook Grandpa to wake him up. Right away, Grandpa guessed what was wrong. He knew just what to do. The next morning, a ray of sunlight shone into the tent. Gilbert was curled up into a ball on Caillou's sleeping bag. What happened? Mommy asked. Next time we go camping, said Grandpa, we'll ask that owl to be quiet. The end.